So today we're gonna look at smudge tools and blending functions. First I'll show you how to recognize them from the toolbar. So under basic tools we have the smudge pen, which is the first smudge tool you'll find in the toolbar. Now go all the way down until you reach a whole set of smudge brushes. They are easily recognizable by their white brush heads. There are more smudge brushes if you scroll down lower to the artist tool set. You can recognize them by their white brush heads. Also, here we have a blending pen similar to the one that was shown at the start. Now you would think the brushes in the colorless set are smudge tools because they are white. But they're not, and I'll show you why later and what they're for. Now let's try drawing some strokes to show you how to use those smudge tools. First, I'll show you how the smudge pen works. At the edges, draw inwards or outwards to smear the borders and blend the colors together. This also works to smoothen out or blur outlines and edges. Now let's move on to the smudge brushes. So these brushes are great for drawing fur, hair, grass, etc. They make really good pointed strokes. Now this one is more for watercolor paintings. We have one here that you can also use for drawing hair. This smudge pen is similar to the one we saw in the basic set. Now we've come to the colorless set. What colorless brush does is take color from one place and add it to another. So imagine it as stealing color from one spot and transferring it to another place. So gradually the original area becomes lighter and loses its color intensity. I'm going to show you a few examples of how smudge can be used. So this is a drawing I did of a tiger. Now I've drawn the black stripes but I want to make them more fuzzy to look more realistic. Now I use a smudge brush to go over the edges to create the fuzziness. Here's another example where smudge comes in handy. I have two puffs of clouds I did which look too blotchy. I want to make them look softer so I use the smudge pen to give a blurring effect. Smudge can also be used in shading. 
I'm going to do some pencil shading on the neck. Now the shading looks very blotchy. I want it to look more natural, so I soften and smoothen it with the smudge pen. Now I'm adding more shading to the forehead. And now smoothening it with the smudge pen. See how the shading changed with smudge? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.